Hey guys! Hey guys! This is Swain. This is Martin. Yes, sir. And we are table. We are tabletop battle. You are dice. I am uh, Voodoo Magic. Yes, Voodoo Magic. But today we'll be playing a game of 148 Tactics. Mm -hmm. And this is the starter sets. Yes, sir. We're the, going to play with the Americans and the Germans. Yes. So everything will be used straight out of the box. Just painted a little. A little. And we'll be going through the basic rules and basically everything you need for game. Yeah, so we'll just take you through a normal game. Should be quick, fast, easy. Uh, we will not do grenades, I think. No, we'll, we'll keep it simple. Yeah, keep it simple. The grenades are in the starter box, though. So yeah. don't get me wrong, you can equip them. But and they're really cool. They're, that, that's the thing. He is very good at using them at me, so we will not use them. So we'll just... Jump into the action, and if you like what you see, check out our YouTube channel. Tabletop Battle. Yeah. And, there's and buy the game. Yeah, buy the game. Support Power World Games. Uh, and also, uh, we want to mention that the battlefield we're playing on is from PD on Tiles. Yes, sir. Very, very cool. All right, so the German team is uh, Dietrich Meyer, Christian Krüger, Otto Hessler, and led by Eric Koenig. I like how you use the German yeah. accent. Yeah, Otto Hessler. And then in the background you can see some of the terrain yeah. that's in this the box. Some of the terrain pieces from the box. There's also a Kubelwagen thingy, but we don't have that. It got stuck. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it got stuck in a tree. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, for the Americans, it's Dean Stanton, John Kelly, he's the NCO, Frank Williams, and Harry Lee, the marksman, or the sharpshooter. And these are some of the terrain pieces from the American box. Very cool. Very cool. And these are the tiles we're talking about. It's um, it's played on a 2x2 two two table area. We've decided to use uh, these tiles so that it looks cooler. But you can play it straight on the table if you want to. We'll just scatter these terrain pieces around and we'll agree on who starts from which side and we'll get right into the action. Alright, since I'll be playing the Americans today, I'm going to roll the American dice to see uh, which one of us set up, sets up the scatter train first. We've deployed some of the train, but we've saved a couple of pieces each. Just to show you. I rolled a 5. I rolled a 4. Yes, you did. And the rules say that the winner of this toss-off... Toss-off? <laughs> toss-up? Toss-off! Is the one that will set up the terrain. Yes, sir. And the opponent gets to choose the side. Yes, sir. Okay, so I have to set up uh, friendly enough that uh, either way I get a some sort of tactical advantage from it. Let me see. Yeah, just something on this side and something covering the road. And I'm sort of just going to mirror it on this side. One over here covering the road. And I think one behind here. Mm -hmm. Because I have the best snipers. You have the best snipers, but have you seen the axe? I've, I axe. have seen the it's axe. It's the coolest terrain piece I've ever seen. It's really cool. Okay, so what happened now is that Martin won the toss-off, so he set up all the terrain. I, as his opponent, get to choose the side, and since I'm standing on this side, I will choose this side. That was what I was hoping for. What? Have you, <laughs> have you fooled me? Okay, so cool. Uh, then we will have to roll a die because normally the one with the highest point army has to start deploying his unit first. Yes, sir. The starter armies are equal in points value, it's 27 points. So that means we need to do a roll off to see who will start setting up. I roll a three, you roll a two. So I will decide that you set up your first character. Thank you, sir. So we'll be back after oh, we have done I'll, the setup. Oh, yeah, we'll just set up. Uh, alternating. E alternating. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we have set up the teams, the Germans on this side and the US on the other side. Um, 26th Folks Grenadiers and the 101st Airborne. Now, for a 2x2 two two game, we are deploying our units touching the table edge, as you can see. And if you want to play on a larger table, let's say a 3x3, three three, you can place them up to five inches in from the table edge. So this is the US deployment over here and it's important to note that don't be too afraid to place hey, 
don't be too afraid to place units um, in the open because they will automatically have cover when they start the game. Okay, so we are set up. We have yes, our sir. cards, we have our action tokens, we have in cover markers. We got our pool of uh, tokens that we need. Yes, and we're now all ready. All of these tokens are in the star boxes. Yes. And we're now ready to roll off to see who will uh, who go will be first. the first player. Yeah. And that is the uh, initiative order for the whole game. Yes, sir. So you roll a three, I roll a four. Super. That means you start. That means I start. All right, so we have your five action tokens. I have my five action tokens, and since I want the toss-off, I will go first. Yes, sir. You have to spend one of them, but you can save as many as you want for the following round. Yes. So the first thing I will do is move Dietrich Meyer. Okay. And he can, as long as you can move into base contact with one of these uh, donut covers, as they're called. Yes, sir. You are allowed to move into them. So he okay. will spend one action to do that. Okay. And he will then fit inside. Uh, for my next action, he will lay down a <coughs> opportunity fire. Okay. And I want to have an opportunity fire going down this lane. Okay. That, that, then I can clear every obstacle. Yes, sir. And if I put that around there, it has a two inch reach or yeah. radius. Yeah. So I will cover this area around here. Okay, that's cool. So that is two action tokens spent on Dietrich. Yes, sir. And next, I'm going to move Otto Hessler. Okay. And he's going to actually to do something very cool that he can do. And that is a move and shoot. Okay. So he can move three inches and shoot. But not only that, if he wanted to, he could shoot and then move. Yeah, because you can the, do it in the order of your choosing. Yes, and that is so awesome with this game. I don't know Ooh. any other game that can do that. Look at that. That now you can clear a line of sight to this guy, pass that cover. And we're also passing that cover. I get some cover, cover for bonus one. for that one, because yeah. that obstructs my whole base. Yes, but this guy does not. Oh. So that's important with 148, and one of the reasons it is so brutal it is. Uh, as long as the model is not fully behind the cover, they don't get cover. It's easy, it's simple, no arguments. But I have this in cover token, and that also gives me one... Uh, level of cover. That is correct. So you start with a base of four needed to hit. Yes. And it's two cover. One cover there makes it a five is and it? that you are in cover makes it a six. All right. So I take my German die and roll a six. That's oh, five. Very, very close. Very close. But that is another uh, action token spent and now I've got two left. Is now it? in many respects it can be wise to save them. But since my other guys are in cover already, Otto will might have some trouble, but I will try to remedy that by doing this. I will spend one action token on Christian Krüger. Yes, sir. He has a move of four inches, so I move him into base contact. With a donut cover? With a donut cover. He's then allowed to move into that donut cover. Nice. And for my last action token, he will also lay down an opportunity fire. All and right. he will put that around here. So that means I will have two inches that way, I will have three inches that way, and probably be able to cover your guys pretty well in this opening. Yeah. So those are all my tokens spent, and the turn now passes to my opponent, which right. is you. Then I fetch my five action tokens, and I hand the camera over to you. In a seamless transition. Yes, sir. All right, since you have so much opportunity fire going over here. You will focus I on something else. I think I'm gonna do something over there. Okay. Who will you begin with? I'm gonna start with this uh, this guy, Frank Williams. Frank Williams. He has a move of five. Yes, sir. He has an uh, opportunity fire of two inches radius and he can aim for two extra dice. Yes, sir. I will start off by moving him five inches. Okay. Or up to five inches. Yeah. Uh, also, maybe we should note that in the rule book it's described as units. Yeah. So five units, it's either five inches or five times two and a half centimeters. Yes, sir. So I'll just move into base contact with this cover hit right here. Nice. So that means if I was going to shoot at you now, I would also need a six because you don't have the in cover token uh, since you moved. That's correct. But now, if I declare next turn I want to shoot at you, you can take 
a cover action. Yeah. And then it would be a second And I would be in cover again. And I would not be able to hit you. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> then I'm going to fire. You're going to fire with him. I'm going to shoot uh, the guy with the submachine gun. You're going to shoot at Otto Hessler. Otto. Yes, Otto. sir. Okay, so... And I, I'm so used to measuring range, but in this game, every weapon has unlimited range. Which is so cool. But you have a short range of 10 units or 10 inches. Yes. So I'm outside of short range. That means I have one dice at long range to shoot your dude. Okay, so now he says he's going to shoot me. Now I can respond by saying I want to take cover, but I can't since I spent all my action tokens. So I'll be hitting on a 5 because we have one piece of cover from this thing? Yes, because as long as you're in base contact with a cover, you ignore the first two inches of that piece of cover. And that is two inches. Yes, so you sir. ignore that cover, but I will get cover from this piece of wood, yeah. but nothing else. So that means you will hit on a five. And All now right. you have another option. I'm going to spend another action token to do an, an aim with that shot. And as you remember, that will add two more dice yeah, to his shot. He has an aim value of two. Yes. Uh, I'm just going to borrow one of your German dice you for this. You can borrow I, one I of the German dice. But don't make a hit with the German one. <laughs> okay. So what do you need? Uh, fives. You need fives to hit. You score a... Well, now we need to do the Martin test. Is it a cocked dice or not? And that's that's a cocked dice. So, so it's I'm gonna a roll, reroll. Roll that die again. Scoring a one. That's a miss. So he actually missed. I might have a chance in this game. Yes, sir. Cool. You know what? But I'm also going to spend all my tokens. Ah, cool. Because I have a shot limit of two. That means I can oh, fire twice. You can do it again. So I'm going to shoot again. Oh, no. And I'm going to... Aim again. Save my last token. Because this guy has an action limit of four. So he has moved. He has shot. He yes. took aim for that shot. And now he shoots again. Then I can't aim. Fantastic. That and all this information is on the card. Yes, sir. We will show you that uh, in a bit. So I have one die hitting on five. Okay. And oh, no. He does That's not. a miss. That's a miss. This is, this is strange. I'm going to save that last uh, action token. Okay. Because I might need it. Okay, so over to the Germans. And I have a cunning plan. You got your five action tokens again? I do. They are here. And I remove the ones that were on my yes, characters. Sir. So I will, I will remove in cover from uh, Koenig, my uh, squad leader. Yes, sir. He is going to do two move and shoots. So okay. He has a move and shoot of three inches. So the first one takes him... Let's go here. Okay. And that means I can trace a line past this cover down to you. Yes, sir. So I have one piece of cover. One piece of cover bringing my four up to a five. And since I was greedy and took that last shot, I'm... Oh, clear. I'm now at my limit of four since I used four actions in the previous turn. So I can't take cover from that shot. With the one token that you spent. Indeed. Uh, the one token that you saved. That I saved, yes. Okay, so he has only one uh, shot at long range. But yes, still, it's only a five. Yeah. And it's a Ooh. four. But here comes the tricks. The tricks. The, the tricks. tricks. <laughs> I will spend another one. Yes, sir. On the same guy, because he also has a shot limit of two. Okay, so you can do two shots per round. Yes, he will also move three inches. And yes, now sir. he's in base contact. This is less than two inches, so yes, sir. he negates that. He shoots at the same guy, still needing a five. Come on. Oh, oh. it's a six! Ah. Woo! And if I had been lucky... Uh, and had been at shorter range, I could have rolled up to three dice with the submachine gun. Very powerful. Yes, sir. If you score two sixes, then it's a headshot and the target is automatically dead. Yes, sir. If I had rolled yeah. a four and a six, it would only make the target wounded, as you will see yes, now. Sir. So I get a wound shock token from being shot and wounded. That means that this guy is going to skip one turn and his card is flipped over to the wounded side with slightly worse stats. Which is so awesome and in innovative. Innovative. It's yes. Very cool. We love it. Innovatore. Innovatore. Uh, okay. So yes. you have three action tokens left. I got three left. And with that, I will do what Otto does best. One action token on Otto. He yes, will sir. move. He moves five. And yes, then you sir. ask, then you ask, why don't you move three inches again and shoot? 
simply because if I wanted to shoot at these guys, they would have one cover, two cover, and, and in, cover. in cover. And the same would apply this way, so there's really no point. Uh, so we will move five inches with this first, and Sir. the second one, I will move three inches with a move and shoot. And he's now going to just move slightly, making sure that at least this guy has to shoot through a couple of covers. So he will end up here, and I will roll another die at this guy. Okay. Now, here's a, a, another situation again. He doesn't have any cover, but he's in cover. Yes, sir. Which also makes the target roll a five. And he cannot take a cover action because he He's already, already counts. in cover, isn't yes. it? Yeah. He already counts as in cover, so he can't do that. It doesn't stack that particular... Um, you can't stack the cover tokens. No, great. So, uh, I will roll one die. Yes, sir. Hitting on a five. Yes, sir. And it's a two, so it's a miss. Ooh. I do not want to be greedy, so I will say one no. to be able to go into on cover. cover. Yes. Okay. So I spend one. All right, then it's over to me. It's over to you. It goes right. very fast. This game is very fast. Okay, so the view from the American side. Yes, yes. We got one wounded. We got one still in cover. Hasn't done anything yet. And we got these two guys still in cover because they are under some, uh, well, opportunity fire if they decide to move or do something. But I think you have found a way around this. Yes, sir. Because the, the range on this opportunity fire is three inches. That means... You can shoot him if he tries to activate, but not Harry Lee. Oh, and I was focusing too much on this opening over here. So Harry is gonna. I'm just gonna reach around. Yeah. How much move does he have? He has movement of four. Yeah. Now we can we can actually show what these these tell so many times he can shoot per turn. Glare. Yeah, a lot, lot of glare. This is good. How many times he can shoot in a turn? Yes, sir. How many dice on long range, which is above ten inches? how many shots at uh, short range, his hand-to-hand -hand combat, which we will maybe see later, his aim value, his uh, opportunity fire radius, and his move, yes, four inches, and his limit of actions. Right. So four inches is your Four first inches move. is my first move. I'm gonna pop two moves and move eight inches straight away. He's gonna pop two moves. I'm gonna move up here. Mm -hmm. Standing behind this tree, taking some cover, taking some sort of cover. Mm -hmm. but you know what? No. Oh, oh! Do you see something? I see a guy over there as well. This guy? Yeah, I can't trace a line. With, uh, no, it's cover. overlapping the base. So I'm there. gonna fire upon Mr. Otto. Spending uh, my third action token, you're. Inside of short range, yes. That means I have two dice to hit him, and then I'm gonna be greedy, <laughs> as I always am. Spend a fourth token on Harry Lee to get three additional dice from aiming. Are you gonna roll five dice? I'm gonna roll five dice. Okay, I will. I will respond to that by spending my last token and making Otto go take action or take cover. Okay, I'm gonna place that in cover token next to your guy so we remember that. So what do you need to hit now? I have a base of four, you're behind cover and you're taking cover so I need to roll sixes. Yes. But I have five dice. This is possible. Where will you roll? On the road. No, yes! no but you're not, you can't use these dice. Uh, but I They're not in the starter set. I only had two of the American ones. They're not in the starter set. These are TTV dice. Yes. They are super exclusive. <laughs> they are the best dice. The bestest. <laughs> okay, so you, you so actually hit him. Otto is wounded. Okay. So what happens to him then? I'm going to place that wound shock token next to him. So he has to skip the next turn. Yes, and sir. And you have to flip the card over. You have to flip the card over. And now, as you can see, his limit is now reduced to three. Yes, sir. And I still have a couple of tokens. Yes. So what will you do with those? I'm going to move Mr. Dean Stanton into oh. this piece of cover. Oh, that's clever, because that also negates my opportunity fire. Yes, sir. Trying to advance on both sides now. You're doing a so-called flanking maneuver. Pincy removing. Pincy removing. But I'm going to save my last one now, so that I can take some cover. Cool. I hope. Over to me, then. Okay, so the Germans are back. I will start with Christian Krieger. All right. With his STG-44. Uh, I noticed uh, that uh, your uh, sharpshooter was in action. Yeah. 
and he is at well it's it's 14 inches i could start moving forward and try to get some more shots off at you yes sir um leaving your precious cover leaving my precious cover but you know press the advantage isn't that what they say um because he has he has two shots at short range you know what i will stay with him and i will move someone else okay he will get one token for shooting at your sharpshooter okay you can't take cover since you're nope. at the limit i'm at my action token limit so i will action then limit add another one for aiming which gives me another two dice okay so my base is one die at long range and i add two i will roll over here okay and you have one cover two cover between us so that brings my four up to a five and then six and that was no sixes. No sixes. Ah, scheisse, but I don't want to spend any more over there. Now I want to do something with my squad leader. Okay. He's very cool, you know. So he will have one action token for moving four inches. And with his four inches, he will move around here. Yes, sir. And he will then spend another one to shoot and move. Ooh. Okay. And he will then move three inches to this piece of cover. Yes, sir. Because that negates that cover. And I guess now I am within short range. I'm within you are. 10 inches. So with my move Ooh. and shoot, I he roll... Has three dice on short range. The MP40 is very good. Three dice at short range. And what do I need? You know, you only need fives? I only need a five because you get this cover. I'm going to spend my last action token to take, take some cover. cover. Cool. So that brings me up to a six. And that's no Ooh, sixes. That's lucky because you rolled a five. Yeah, I should actually have used the black dice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I am in a position where I got one token left. Yes, sir. And I think I want to save that because I know since I didn't manage to take out any of my targets, there will be retaliation. Yes, sir. So I'm saving one. All right, so I'm going to start by removing my wound shock token from Frank Williams. Yeah, because he passed the last turn. Yeah, he skipped the last one. And you fired with um, Christian, didn't you? At uh, Harry. Yeah, so he's... So this guy's... I'm going to remove your opportunity fire. That is correct. He doesn't have that as long as he does something else, takes another action, he loses that. So a good tactic sir. is to shoot at the guy that has an opportunity fire and make him take cover. Yes, sir. For example. Okay, so I'm gonna keep trying to destroy Otto Hessler. What has Otto ever done to you? You know what? Otto is referred to as the hero of the trenches. If you uh, see I another know one. he's a deadly model. He is so. he's a deadly model. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a double move again. Double move. Mr. Stanton. Eight inches. Or I mean uh, Harry. Harry Lee. Moving up to that piece of cover. Mm -hmm. That means that I can negate this cover and I negate you being in cover. Since you're within five inches of me, you negate the in cover rule. Sir, that means I'm going to be hitting on four. Well, that is brutal. I'm going to spend one action token to do a normal shot. Okay, so you will not aim it. I will not aim it. Cool. So two dice hitting on I four. I can't afford to aim it. <laughs> <laughs> and this is one of the coolest things about the game. You really have to, you know, do you want to push it or do you want to save yeah. up and, you know. So force to hit, and Ooh, of, course, of course he rolls a six and a four. Uh, and as we said, even though he scores two hits, it only wounds a model. But since yeah. Otto already is wounded, he is now dead. And here comes one of the cool things about the game. He's not removed from play. He is now cover. Yes, sir. And the fact that he's lying there means that one of my models can't actually stand where he is. I actually have to spend an action to move him to if I want to have that. Chuck him away, yeah. Yeah, if I want to have that spot. Well, okay. now I see that I have the opportunity to advance with the, my NCO John yeah, Kelly. Yeah, you can because you can bring him into the game. He's gone. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna move and shoot and move and shoot. I think move and shoot but and move and shoot. With a move and shoot, I get in base contact with the donut cover. Yes. So I'm going to jump in here. So he has a 3 inch move and shoot. Yeah, and I'm going to fire upon your NCO. And it's just as well to do the move and shoot with him because his move is also 3 inches. Yeah. 
Okay. This is a long range shot. No cover. Is there a gap there? There is a gap here. Who placed that cover? <laughs> I think it was me. I think it was me. So, you know what? I'm going to hit on four. Uh, as a response to that, I will spend my uh, saved token. Okay. And he will then have used three out of his five. So you're going to take cover. I will take cover with him, making it a five for you to hit. Okay. How many dice does he roll? Oh, he only rolls one dice. It is, is it above ten? Oh, he has the same oh, long and short long range. Die he has long... the uh, semi-automatic uh, carbine. Carbine. Okay. M1 the carbine. Carbine trooper thingy. M1 carbine. Okay, so you need a five. Yes, sir. And you roll a three. That's not a five. That's not a five. Cool. Do you want to do something with your last? Now he's thinking because now he... Yeah, I really want to do something with my last, but I'm going to save it so that I can go into cover. Always save. Yes. Okay. All right. German player, what so, do you want to do? Well, since you killed Otto Hessler, I think we have to retaliate. Okay. So we will begin with Christian Krieger. All right. And he is going to shoot... You know what? He's actually going to shoot at your squad leader. Uh, John Kelly? Yes. So he's going to okay. put that's down... One piece of cover, two piece of cover, hitting on six. Yeah, that's no problem. And you have one dice. That's okay. Okay. Then I want to aim. Yeah, you, you want to aim, don't you? Because I get two more dice. So you have three dice? I get three dice on long range. Hitting on six? Yes. You know what? I'm going to spend my token because John Kelly, uh, we haven't been talking about the victory conditions, but he's worth nine points. Yes. So I'm going to spend my token and save my NCO, making that shot impossible. It just became a seven to hit. Yeah. Because that's not possible. I have one piece of cover. I have one piece of cover and then I'm taking cover. So four, up to five, up to six, up to seven, I can't hit him. Correct. Because he's so well protected. But that is okay because... That Th was... Then you spent two action tokens? Yeah, they are wasted. And they are wasted. They are wasted. But it was worth it because here comes the kickback or kicker or something. <laughs> okay. This guy that yeah. was in cover yes, sir. will no longer be in cover because he will move and shoot. He will move this way. Okay. Positioning himself... With uh, in base contact with that three, ignoring that, and if I'm not mistaken, he is now within five inches of your sharpshooter. Ooh. Was that Har Harry Lee or what? That's Harry Lee. Okay, so you see, when I do a move and shoot at short range, I actually roll three dice. Yes, you do. And since I'm within five inches, you can't take cover. That's correct. So how much cover do you have now? The zero. So I will hit you on fours? Yes, sir. With three dice? Yes, sir. What do you think about that? Well, I, I think, I believe in my luck. So, so I think you're going to miss. All that for one action token on Eric Koenig. Do you need a dice? No, because I have a black one. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, black one hits. <laughs> all right. So that's one hit against Harry. Yeah. Harry is then wounded. And even though this one is cocked slightly, there's no reason to roll it again, because even though I rolled, if I would have rolled a six, it wouldn't count. matter. No, wouldn't, wouldn't matter. matter. So he's wounded. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna flip his card over. Okay. Reducing his stats. You know what? You know what I will do now? Save your two last action. Oh, no, we'll shoot again. <laughs> oh no. I was talking about retaliation. Here is retaliation. Oh yeah. He's standing still and he's shooting. He still has three dice. It's short range. The same thing applies. Even though you are in wound shock, you automatically get the take cover. Yeah, but you're within five inches, so you negate that. Exactly. Taking cover. So I need a four again. There it is. And the Germans do it again. And that actually takes him out of action because he's hit twice in a row. Yes, sir. So I feel Oof. that Otto has been avenged. Yes, sir. And now I will bank my last one. No! Oh, yes. Okay, one German down, one US down. Yes, sir. It's... Uh, what do you call it? Head and head? No, it's... it's neck and neck. Neck and neck. Head and head. <laughs> I'm gonna use uh, Frank Williams, the wounded guy. The wounded guy, yes. yes sir. Maybe he should get some He's blood. gonna move. Uh, actually, he's gonna move twice. Double move. Double move. That's up, eight up inches. To this piece of cover. Oh, that's eight cool. inches. Cool. And here's uh, what, as you do that, we can discuss one of the other rules. If I move a guy up here, yes, sir. I have the first two inches free. That means I don't count that cover. But the next two inches, I do count. Yeah. So even though I'm in base contact with this, as long as I'm shooting above two inches, 
he still gets he's one cover. Get cover. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna use another token on him and fire. Are you no? Are you yeah? Within ten? Is I'm it a within clear ten. Line? It's it a, a clear, clear shot. Oh no! Two dice hitting on four. Oh no! You know what? I saved the token. Yeah, you did. I will use that to take cover. Yes, sir. So All that right, means so I'll be hitting on five. Fives. It's still doable. Two dice because you're at short range with your uh, car with your semi-automatic rifle. Yes. Yes. No. And even, even though, though <laughs> <laughs> even though I rolled two fives, it's only a wound. Yeah, it yeah. would have needed to be two sixes if, nice. you, if you were going to kill me outright. So then you're in wound shock, and I have to flip this card over. Yes, sir. And his stats have now been dramatically reduced. Hand to hand has gone down. Actions have gone down. Yes, sir. And I have two action tokens left. Yes. What do you want to do with those? You know what? I'm gonna do some suppressive fire. Okay. Uh, John, yeah, because now he has spent three uh, tokens, yes, uh, or he has done three actions. There's yeah. a difference between tokens and actions. Yeah. So some, some action costs two points, but we'll not do one. those actions in yeah. this game. Uh, counts as only as one action, though. Yes, sir. Uh, and your limit has been reduced to three, so you can't do anything else with him. That's correct. So you can't even take cover. No, but he's okay. He's okay. okay. I have my guys. I have my hardy heroes. Yeah, what are they going to do? I'm going to spend an action token on John Kelly to start a suppressive fire. And Mr. Dean Stanton is going to join in on that suppressive fire. Oh, yeah, because he has this special... Yeah, this symbol. That symbol. And that means he can initiate a suppressive fire action, Sir. but he needs another soldier to join in. I'm going to be placing it uh, three inches from this point, so that Mr. Krieger will have a hard time getting out of that position. Getting out of dodge. Yes, sir, I'm going to place it over here. So as long as he starts moving, you can shoot at him. No, no, no. It's not a opportunity fire, it's a suppressive fire. Yeah, suppressive fire. So, oh no! That means Christian is suppressed. I that means he shoot. can't shoot on the following turn. No. And if he's still within that area at the beginning of my turn, I get one dice against him. Yes. And on a six, he's wounded. Yes. So you're actually now just laying down a rain of fire on yes, this position, sir. trying to keep him down. That's correct. Okay, As he is your running and shooting guy. I did not see that coming. So now, and, and being suppressed by like this, uh, that he has done now, uh, prevents him from shooting when he activates again. Yes, sir. So I need to move him away from there to get away from that suppression. You're going to need to spend a lot of tokens getting him out of that suppression. Or I can take out one of your guys doing the suppression. Yeah, but I mean, really yeah. good cover from uh, your we'll remaining dudes. We'll, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's on. Is it me? It's you. Yeah, because you have to spend one token for suppression. And another one has to join in. Yeah, so that's the last two tokens. Yes, sir. If you can't take cover. No. Nice. Okay, so back to the Germans. Yes, sir. So Eric Koenig, he was wounded uh, the previous, uh, yeah. or your turn, so he will have to pass this turn. Yes, sir. Uh, this guy we will deal with later. He can't fire. He can't fire, so we'll deal with him later. For now, we will use my star player. <laughs> Dietrich Maya. Dietrich Maya. He will move nine inches. He doesn't have a move of nine inches. <laughs> <laughs> he has three moves. And that's actually the limit of how many times you can move in one turn. Three times. Yeah, because your amount of shots is listed at your weapon. Yes. And every model can move three times. Three times. That's not listed anywhere, but it's the rule. Yeah. So he is moving three times. And that's three inches I can see I made a tactical blunder by placing uh, Frank that close to you. <laughs> yeah, because now I can clear that cover. Yes, sir. It's not uh, blocking two inches. So that is now negated. Yes, sir. Uh, so he has now spent three to move. I will yes, sir. spend a further, which is his limit, on four. Yes, sir. And I will shoot. Okay. And he has a... He has yeah. two dice at short range. Two dice at short range. I will use the German dice and okay. I will roll here where the action is. And well, what do you need to hit? Four. Yeah, because you negate the cover from being close. And negate the cover. You can't take cover since you I don't have action, action tokens. And you don't have tokens. So I need a four to kill him. Yes, sir. And there's the six. Mm. He's dead. 
And he's All right. All right. He did his him. job. He did his job. Is he expendable? <laughs> well, everyone's expendable in our games. Okay. Uh, All right. And he's worth six additional points. That means you still haven't destroyed over 50% of my yeah. team. I, I am now taking out 12 points. Yes, sir. And to win the game, you need to score at least 14. Yes, sir. Because that's over half 27. Yes, sir. But you still have one action token. I do. And you know what? I There's no point... Well, I, I will save it. You're going to save it. I will save it, because even though he can't take cover, I can still save it for the next round and have six. That's correct. So, uh, that means it's over to you, and that also means that you get to do the shot. Yes, sir, from and suppressing also, fire. also, it means that this opportunity fire is taken away. We need to remember that. Yeah, because you moved Dietrich Meyer. He moved, so this one's taken away. All right. And you got two guys suppressing this area. Yeah. You could have more. Uh, but two guys gives you two dice to shoot at this guy. Right. Do I get two dice? I think you get the one die for each guy. Or was it? No, you can roll one die for each model model yeah. in the suppressed so, area. Yeah, I only get one shot. Yeah, if I had per, two models here. Dude, yeah. Then you could roll two dice. So I need to roll six to wound Mr. Uh, Krieger. Krieger over here. Oh my lord! What's wow. going on in this game? Wow. Why is why wow. why are you back? Wow. Why are you back? <laughs> Martin has returned. Wow. The king of sixes. I'm wearing the voodoo magic shirt. Okay, so you actually wound Mr. Krieger. No, he's not dead. He's just wounded. Yeah, I just uh, turn him around. <laughs> <laughs> Place your uh, token thingy. He's now in cover, making it harder for you to hit him though. Yes, which sir. Is good. Uh, but he's now wounded, so he also has to pass one round or one turn. That's correct. Okay, so and that was your free suppressive fire shooting. Yeah. And you know you got five tokens. Yes, sir. And you really have a bit of a conundrum. Yeah, because now I really want to win. Yes. Uh, this guy still retains his uh, wound shock and in cover token till the start of my turn again. Yeah. So you can use that guy on your following turn, that means I have to... You can kill him, and if you do, you will win, because he's worth 9 points, plus 6 points for Otto, bringing the total up to 14, which is half, or over half of 27. And in, in this kind of game we're playing now, those are the victory conditions. Yes, you sir. can, of course, play scenarios that have other kinds of victory conditions. Yes, sir. So, how do you want to do that? You know what? I'm going to save a lot of tokens. Okay. Because he's wounded. He is wounded. I'm going to be really tactical about this. Mr. Dean Stanton, he's going to do some opportunity fire. Oh, look at that. Over here. So you want to? You want me to kill myself? Yes, sir. Because <laughs> you, I see you've saved action tokens so that you can take cover. Mm -hmm. but you can't take cover from opportunity fire. That is correct. When you are the subject of an opportunity fire, you can't take cover to that. Mr. John Kelly. So this is actually a very good tactic he's using now. Mr. John Kelly is going to move. Okay. And move. I like this. He's gonna run all the way over here. So you got uh, three inches each time he moves. Yes, sir. That's a couple of tokens for him. Okay. Then he's gonna place an opportunity fire. No, that's just mean, isn't it? So now you have to choose your... Destiny? Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> and he's within five, so he will not benefit from uh, any cover anyway. That's correct. Okay, so you're done. Over to you, Germany. You saved one token. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, Mr. Germany, are you ready? The Germans are back. I saved one, so I got six tokens. Yeah, Did and you, you have to spend one. I have to spend one. You put me in a conundrum, because so he can't do something. Nope. One of these guys have to do something. This yeah. one is removed, since he's no longer That's in his room. correct. What do you want to do first? I will kick your ass, since you are <laughs> taking opportunity fires on me. Good luck, man. Dietrich Meyer. He will move. You know what? I'm going to un unleash my opportunity fire. You want to shoot at him? Yeah. Okay, you're at long range. Oh, it's long range. All right. And you're in cover. Hit him on five. I could aim it, but I'm going to save it. 
That's no. a miss. Uh, why didn't you want to aim it? You get two extra dice. Yeah, because I was thinking I, I'm going to need it with this guy. Yeah, because he only got one die. Yes, sir. Okay, but well, okay. Here, here's... All right, so I spent my opportunity fire. Okay. I will now use one action token and another, that is two action tokens, because I will move straight over here. I thought you were going to back up over here to get a better line of shot. Yeah, you didn't, didn't you? Uh, if you move across an obstacle or you have to climb, yeah. it costs you two action tokens. But it's still just one action, isn't it? Still one action, and you can yeah. move your allotted <coughs> inches. Yeah. So I can move three inches over here. Okay. But it cost me two action tokens. Luckily, like I said, I saved one. Now I will move three inches again. With okay. my second move. Towards me, that's daring. You, you like that? But I think... Oh, look at that! He has no cover! And he's within ten inches! You know what, I'm gonna take cover. <laughs> Or wait, are you gonna aim that shot? I will... You know what? I still got two tokens left. I will aim it because then I will have four dice! Then I'm gonna take cover. Okay. Yes, sir. So I've spent his limit. Boop. I've spent his limit of four. Uh, I will now shoot at you with short range. Two dice plus two dice for aiming. Yes, sir. I need a five since you took cover. That's correct. Can I score a five? We can score Whoa. a five. He is wounded! Don't I get a bonus for being a small team? <laughs> That's another game. Okay. Alright. So he's wounded. Okay, then I got two tokens left. Yes, sir. You know what? I'm gonna win the game. I think it's gonna be hard, though. You think? Because yeah, you're gonna have to kill one of my guys. Yeah, I do. And do who do I have to kill to win? Well, anyone. So this guy, which is already wounded? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you remember this guy that you wounded? Yeah, yes, sir. Does he have this suppression token? No, because that's removed when I get wounded, of course. Yes, it's an opportunity fire, not suppression. <sighs> so, you know what? This guy, he's going to take away his in cover. He's going to spend one to do a move and shoot, which is two inches, bringing him over to here, like so. I am negating the cover since I'm in base contact. You're within five inches, so yeah, we negate that You're in one. a better position for next round. I'm good, in a better good. position because there's two parts of cover, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and can you feel the glory? Oh. Short range, I will roll three dice. Yes, sir. And I will kill you on a four. Yeah, you will. And, and there, there we go. go. Game over. Very good, man. But I like this where I actually, I have three guys wounded. I was so close to dying or losing the game. And then you're actually able to come back like that. Yep. With doing some daring moves. And that is what the game is all about. You can do heroic stuff with the action system. Action token system. It's very cool. It's innovative. And it's, it's so fast and so brutal. Fast, it's fun, it's brutal. You don't need a lot of models. Cover is included in the starter boxes. Yes, sir. Even ah. dice. Even dice and tokens. And, and we love it. So yes, sir. Thank you for creating the game. We hope you guys watching will give it a serious look. And he's dead, yes. <laughs> Take a look at it and support Boeda War Games. Uh, and just as a disclaimer, we have uh, been giving demo sets for free. So this is, you know, sort of advertising, if you want to call it that. Yes, sir. Product placement. Uh, but of course our job as a gaming club and uh, a web store in Norway is of course to show products and let people try new things, see new games, see what's out there and hopefully you will fall in love with this game just as we have. Thank you for watching, Martin is holding the camera and that's Ben Swain winning the game. Woohoo!